Hey, this is a one and only storyteller. March the 30th, we're back out here at the truck. Uh, we're gonna try and dig this out here later on. That way we can get the engine off of the engine stand and get it set up to be put in. Um, as you can tell, you may not be able to tell, the wind is picking up pretty good. We have a um, storm coming in this afternoon. We didn't make it back from town from the doctor's visit. Um, so our main objective today is I need to take these apart, divide these apart right here, and uh, fix them. I, uh, I do have a new cable to go on there. This one is fine. So that's good. And I did get some new connectors in case I didn't... Uh, can't get the um, the old ones off. So what we're going to be using today? Here's the distributor. As you can tell, it's pretty pretty cruddy. So pretty rusty, cruddy. So we're going to be using this <coughs> accessory kit. Let me tell you about this accessory kit right here. Um, I bought this from TSC. I went in there the other day, and they had a bargain bin, and um, I walked by and I almost fainted. They had three of these kits and uh, they had them on sale and I give five dollars and thirty three cents each. I bought all three of them. Yeah, what a buy, what a deal. Uh, some days you win, some days you lose. We might have won that one. So and here's a Dremel. Uh, it comes with an extension. You know how most Dremels are. Hobby, Harvey grinders. You know however you want to specify what uh what you want to call it so but yeah um, we're um we're just trying to get things situated out here the engines right here under the under the tarp so we're going to try like i said and get we'll try and get the cherry picker engine hoist out of out from underneath there today and um we're going to try and get uh, the engine off the stand, get the distributor in, put the thermostat housing on, uh, put the fuel pump on, because I don't think it's going to be in any harm's way if we go ahead and put that on because uh, the position of where it's going to sit. So I'm not real sure about the valve covers yet. I'll hook the chain up to the engine, and then I'll make another little short video of, you know, with the chain on there. And we'll kind of see if we have enough uh, room or not. So while I'm out here, I sighted it. We'll take a look at the Mustang. You know, the old Mustang is is really solid. The only the only rust in this whole quarter panel is a few spots right here, and that's it. That that's it. There's nothing else. There's nothing else. So the other side is the same way. Um, I did talk with a guy in New York. He did have a C4 flywheel torque converter, six uh, boat bell housing. Uh, transmission does come with part of the lines, of course. Um, it also comes with the linkage, the floor linkage. So, and it comes with the end of the drive shaft up into transmission. So, those definitely all the parts that we need for that to, for that particular end of the car. So, I've got to go ahead from the wife to uh, call Louisiana to the machine shop and have them go ahead and order the pistons. When the pistons come in, then I'll take, or we will take, the block, crank, rods, distributor, all the necessity parts, AF, <coughs> AFR heads, and we'll take them down to Louisiana and uh, leave them with the uh, gentleman down there, and uh, he'll do his magic. He'll bore a block 40 over. He'll balance the pistons, rods, and crank together. Uh, he's also going to drill for a 
roller plate for the engine so roller guide plate and uh, I'll carry my parts to him and he'll do some measuring he'll do some cutting if he has to or shimming here or shimming there and uh, when it's done we'll go back and pick it up you know he estimates it uh, it will be a 428 small block Ford and um, it uh, it off screen Elder Rock Victor 2 intake 1050 1050 carb holly so it ought to be a little screamer he said it ought to go you know 525 550 so running on uh high test gas so you know what can you say can't get any better than that so that puppy will go down to the mustang and with the c4 i'll rebuild the c4 myself which i'll have some videos on that but that's gonna be a little ways off yet I'm just going to go ahead and get everything set. Um, the truck, I don't think, once the engine goes in and I get the front end put back on, fenders, hood, get the doors put on, and uh, then I'll have it to record over to the, to the paint booth. And once I get that part painted, and uh, depending how... You know how a hurry he is about having to move it. Uh, I may leave it over for a week or two, and then pick it up. But if he's in a hurry, um, then um, we'll just bring it back over here, and then I can go and assemble the doors and things of that nature. And then all I like is the bed. So at that point in time, I can kind of start looking at the Mustang a little bit, but I'll have all the parts waiting on it. So yeah. It's going to be an adventure, folks. We're going to get there. The gentleman I'm carrying it to, um, he um, painted a 55 a few months back. And uh, final prep work, final body work, taping, painting, only cost the gentleman $40,000. So he's not going to paint the truck. He's just going to let me use the booth. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's gen very generous. So, that's the way we're going to roll it. So, I'm going to get busy on the distributor here. And uh, we're going to get busy on it. And I'll give you an update uh, when I'm done. I appreciate you stopping so far, stopping by so far. Just hang out in the rocking chair and we'll be back to you later. See you. Hey, this is one and only storyteller. Well, I'm back. Uh, I did get the distributor done, or as the best that I can do it. Um, it's fixing to rain, as you can tell. They, uh, I checked on the radar a minute ago, and it's about uh, four or five miles out. So I'm fixing to have to put all this stuff up. I was hoping to get more done today. Did not get the engine out today. I did go ahead and clean the distributor as you can tell not too bad not too bad I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little more cleaning on it I'm gonna paint this right here like a, a uh, uh, like a uh, gray color and then I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, tape this up here and I'm just gonna shoot uh, this right in here I'm just gonna shoot clear over it you know, and let that be that. Uh, everything worked out good. Uh, Dremel worked fine. Believe it or not, I picked that Dremel up from Hobby Lobby. Uh, on sale, of course. You know, it seems like cheap as I am, it has to be on sale. So, y'all can go ahead and laugh if you want to. I am so cheap. I am chicken cheap. You ever seen chicken cheap? Cheap, 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 cheap. Yep. I even once jewed my grandmother out of yard sale. So that's how cheap I am. You know, I don't. So until it comes to cars, computers, uh, things of that nature, watches especially, I'm a watch nut. You know, I have 
watches dating back to 1870, 78 or 79. And uh, see, I'm a watch nut. I've been collecting watches since I was uh, six years old. Matter of fact, I have an Ingersoll Mickey Mouse watch. Uh, I won on a bet from my dad when I was six years old, and I still have it. So I'm a watch time nut. So if anybody was ever going to invent time travel, it'd be me because I'm fascinated with time. So, so I appreciate you stopping by today. It's going to be quick. I'm fixing to have to get all this stuff put up before the rain starts. And I appreciate y'all stopping by today. Ring that bell. Subscribe. Tell a friend. Um, there will be a post office box at some point in time. Uh, I'll give that out later. If you want to send something, send a letter. You know, Maybe it helps you. Maybe it don't. I hope it does. Um, it helps me. So. It helps me to um, you know, lose a little, uh, little bit of life. And what I mean by that is all the clients that I see, um, you know, they, they've had a rough go, most of them. And, you know, after a while, them stories become real sometimes in the middle of the night. And we'll just kind of leave it at that. So, But uh, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment. Uh, as I always say, if you leave a negative comment, leave a positive comment last. Don't leave anybody else in a, con in a negative mood. So. We'll see y'all later.